Hey, what's up? I'm your host, Dandelion. You're watching episode two of Underground Paparazzi featuring Express Fresh from Acid Lab Records, brought to you by Rags the Bear Productions. <laughs> Fresh. Well, um, in high school, I was in drama class and uh, acting. And anyways, I was very animated, and um, I was always known to say what was on my mind at any given time. So people used to say, "You express yourself. You know, maybe you should include that in your name." So I did, and I had a whole bunch of weird words express something, something, something I can't remember way back. But then, you know, I thought I was a fresh rapper, so express fresh. So I that. Um, stuck with me. And it's funny because a lot of my friends had changed their name a few times and I've pretty much been expressed fresh my whole rap career. So. With the advantage, totally stranded. I take a Xanax alone on this planet. I'm a spastic, lost writing classics, banned since the disappearance of Atlantis. I need a bandage and a beverage. I'm contraband flesh who's abandoned and abandoned in a labyrinth. She's attractive, I'm so average. Can you name a couple of uh, artists that inspire you? Um, that list can be very long, but I'm gonna sum it up for you. And it goes beyond uh, the genre of rap, but I'll start with rap. The first rapper who made me want to rap was Rakim. I remember being in fourth grade and they were playing his music on the schoolyard and I just was like, yo, I want to do that. And then as um, far as just other genres, you know, one of my favorite artists, um, his name is Tricky. I just love his ranting, raspy, um, hip-hop-ish, hip trip-hop-ish. He doesn't like that term, trip-hop, but like just that dark venue of sound. Um, of course, you know, I tell all a lot of my friends I like uh, Nirvana, uh, um, Soundgarden, just rock in general, classic rock doors, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of just different artists who inspire me and it's not to inspire me to rap necessarily, but just to create. Um, I get inspired to create and I'm also inspired by film and I could go on a tangent about that, but, but yeah. Okay, so how and when did you meet Acid Rain and why don't you talk about the bond that you and other bandmates have? Okay, well, um, I met Acid Rain in high school. I met Gaija before I met Beyond. And um, the way we even started work with each other musically is there was a talent show at our high school. So um, we wrote this crazy song. Um, I can't, I'm trying to remember my verse. Anyways, um, so we performed the song and I met Beyond and it was crazy because he was 16 and he couldn't drive yet. So it was funny, his parents drove him up there and we performed it from that. We just stayed linked together, we never separated. And the bond we have is just kind of one of those comfortable things. You know, you meet your best friend and you kind of just, they just stick with you. It's like we're soulmates, but not in a gay way. It's okay to be gay. But anyways, like we just, ha we're just, we just mesh. We're just like brothers. like. Those are my other two halves, you know what I mean? And we have such a chemistry that we don't have to say everything. We just feel it, you know what I mean? And, and, and it comes out in our music. And some of the best music I've ever created has been with them. And some of the best shows I've had has been with them. And some of the best tours I've had have been with them. And um, yeah, we just, we just mesh. It's just a brotherly thing that we got, you know? And, I don't see myself never working with them in the future. I'll always be to the hip with those guys. You know, we'll be right there you know, in the race together. A young and loving movie, Ferris Bueller and the Goonies, back to the future. Commando Ramble using Uzi. Dr. Troy escaped from New York, spitting Lukies. Evil Dead Flamingo Kid Flash Gordon with the Goofy. Full metal Gremlin basket case and Jacuzzi. Highlander Dander Cat people have some nudity. Hellraiser, Hellblazer, Lost Boys and Judy. Maximum Overdrive, Rumblefish, Moody. Can you talk about some artists that you collaborated with musically? Well, um, Rain and I, we had a group called Marble Jar um, in high school, and that consisted of Dirt, um, Upward. Back then, his name was Indigenous. Soul Taco, a.k.a. Somebody, myself, 
um, and Acid Rain. We also were early members of LA Symphony when it first started. Um, and then I joined uh, the, a group called The Mystics, and we toured around and we opened up for acts like Grand Nubian, uh, members of the Wu-Tang, Red Man, and the list goes on. I actually, after that, joined a group called uh, Science Project, and we toured with Mr. Brady, we did shows with Tumex, his exterior of Shapeshifters, um, and that list goes on as well. As far as uh, solo by myself, I haven't really worked with any artists. I've just kind of stuck with the homies, you know what I mean, my, my good friends. Um, I've actually had production done by EQ. Everybody knows who EQ is. I've actually had uh, a cat that I've met on, on uh, Facebook named Max Carnage. He does. He did a lot of production for me, and he did a, he did production for me and 2Max and existed a kind of a a three song single type thing uh, about a year ago um, called Highway of Skulls and he produced all three tracks on that. So yeah that's about it. Running free mama loves me mama's cut too deep in the cobweb I rest comfortably in her arms there she feels suffering early life spared she spent hers running free abandoned by her father at an early age standing in her locker mad full of rage Damaged by a monster, her belly aches. Teen pregnancy, awkward like heavy things. These legacies. So, can you talk about sobriety and your music? Um, well, you know, I did have a, a, a little stint where I was using. Um, and it, it was basically a lot of things happened at once. I was having trouble at work. I reunited my mom. I found my dad's family. Um, some childhood issues. So, I did have a, a, a drug abuse problem. A substance abuse problem, um, alcohol um, was was a good had a great deal with it as well, and and it did hinder my music because I think I could have been further if I didn't have that be an issue in my life. But now it it helps me thrive because I talk about it a lot in my music, um, and I have other um, artists who I've worked with in the past like Exist who strive to stay sober and sometimes it can be challenged for some of us um also cadillac ron i hope he's staying sober last i heard he was having some trouble but um people like him and exist they give me advice and so sobriety is a very inspiring thing for me because i've been sober going on five years this november and it's been hard um but yeah it's very important for me and it's very important for my music because it, it's like my uh, therapy to keep me sober and my kids but number one for myself because no one could be sober for someone else you have to be sober for yourself so as it stands it's going to be five years but i'm taking one day at a time congratulations on your five year sobriety hope you get another five and plus that so how do you handle music and fatherhood quite well <laughs> no you know i, I just make sure everything rotates around my boys. Um, really with anything I do, my boys come first. I make sure I put them to bed every night, brush their teeth. Um, and that also inspires me to create music, but um, fatherhood is the most important thing to me. So I don't ag agree to do anything unless it's convenient for me being, putting my family first. Um, and I want my, my boys to grow up seeing that. You know, a lot. I know a lot of artists who they had to, they had challenges prioritizing and it wasn't always their fault. But for me, I, you know, I don't want to make that mistake. So, you know, and I also um, take pride in looking at some of the guys I look up to that were fathers before me, like my boy Beyond and um, my my old uh, bandmate um, Okie Doke. You know, these guys were just like, fatherhood was it for them. So seeing that before I became a father just made it more important for me to be that more than anything else. I think being a father is the best thing that I do. I, I, I'm not really good at anything else. I'm all right in the music, I think. I'm good, I mean, but I think I'm a great father. I hope my sons can say the same thing in about 16 years. Systematic, automatic, systematic, automatic, systematic, automatic, evolve, evolve, cause static. Systematic, automatic, evolve, evolve, cause static. I often 
practice. Marshall for sad sad, involved in fraud by all these ad labs. My language, language, dangerous rapping. I'm lost in laughing with gods for has has. This cause for the raw to bring back rations, to feed the factions. That's all I'm asking. I brought with has been to crawl through ass ass. Pretending brave with these cowards like like. Talk about your new album you're about to drop, God is Gracious. God is Gracious is an album I've been working on for two years. Um, and I named it after my oldest son, Sean. His, his name means God is Gracious in Hebrew. Basically, like I said, two years, been working on a recording at the Acid Lab at Beyond's Crib. Um, production from Mute Speaker, Broken Fingers, and EQ. Also, um, a new cat coming out called Kid Unknown. So the album has solid production. Um, you'll notice on the album when you hear it that it's uh, there's it's sample driven, but it's uh, samples of music, like it's very musical. Um, and I based the album more. It's more like a intimate album about just my sons, my life, being sober, um, struggles, you know, with normal things that as artists, us artists go through. Uh, so it's it's a good album, and actually it's done. We're uh, it's getting mixed and mastered right now, as we speak probably. <laughs> and then uh, we the video is finished. Um, we're still working on getting some photo shoots for the album. Um, we're just kind of building on a marketing campaign campaign that we're going to be working on for the album. But um, it's actually done. So we're just we're just waiting on Mr. EQ. <laughs> um, yeah, he's the he's the mix he's mixing and mastering the album, and he also has production, like I said. Um, so we're just we're just waiting on that, and that'll be out soon. Actually, uh, maybe in the next month and a half, probably, most likely. We're keeping our fingers crossed. So, if your life was a book, what chapter would you be in, and what's the next chapter? Well, I've had a rough year. And I'm going to get a little personal, but I've had a lot of personal issues. Um, I don't want to go into detail, but it consists of being incarcerated, being arrested, um, temptation of losing my sobriety. So, you know, when you see a movie and you see like the conflict of the movie where it messes with you, where you feel uncomfortable and you're like, when can happen next? Like, oh shit. I'm right there, like, but I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out of a storm. And I'm, what's next for me is just to release music and to be a father, but to learn from the mistakes that I made um, and to, to be a better person and not let emotion drive me. You know, and I think we all sometimes can get a little ahead of ourselves when we get upset or get angry. And I think this past couple years have been the hardest couple years of my life. And I'm right there. I'm 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 at I'm 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 at like when you watch like Walking Dead, you see like the last episode for that season. You're like, what the? I'm right there. And what's next is, you know, I'm just gonna keep working on music, and I'm actually gonna accelerate the music that I'm gonna put out. And I have like several producers who want to do some things with me, so, so that's what's next. There's definitely a lot more things coming up. Oh, yeah, great deal of things coming I will keep you updated with his new album on Underground Paparazzi. Or, and you can get a hold of my music and me on all of my social media sites, which is Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on acidlabrecords.com all of our all of our social media all of our free downloads everything is connected to that and we also if we don't have a link we will have a link to this very show on there as well supporting our boy you know what i mean rags the bear doing his thing so yeah keep it, keep it. acidlabrecords.com baby Thanks a lot for being here this week. Tune in next week. I'm your host, Dandelion. This is Underground Paparazzi, brought to you by Rags the Bear Production.